Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB25 video. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to upgrade abilities in Dynasty mode. And before we get to the video, as always, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We're getting much closer to 30,000 subscribers. Always like the video, it helps out the channel a lot. Can we get 500 likes in this video? That'd be greatly appreciated. And also there's currently a Kelsey free pick on Underdog. So make sure you sign up and go use that free pick. It's basically free money. If he gets more than half a yard, which is one yard in a game, you do automatically win that. It doesn't get easier than that. So make sure you go down below and use my code so you can get this free pick. And if you don't already know, I am running a best ball underdog fantasy league. So basically, if you want to compete against me in NFL fantasy football, make sure to head on down below. The link will be down below pinned in the description. It'll be in the comments pinned as well. And you can see it over on my Twitter. All you got to do is sign up and join. Make sure to use my code so you also get your bonus while doing this. But it'll be super fun. Best ball leagues are always a good time. So make sure to come over and join. So let's go through this. One of the biggest questions I've gotten over the last few weeks are how do abilities work? right? What are they? How do they work? How do you upgrade them? So if you don't know what abilities are, abilities, at least prior to CFB and Madden, were probably the biggest aspect of the game. Now, I do think they're really big in CFB, but I do think they're slightly toned back compared to Madden, which is a good thing. CFB has the formula right. You want them, they're important, but you don't need them. It's not the end all be all in, in the terms of like, you cannot do X, Y, and Z without abilities. For instance, in Madden, years ago if you want to scramble or even recently right you need escape artists without escape artists it's very hard to scramble behind the line of scrimmage in cfb you can basically scramble with or without any kind of abilities but if you do have them it doesn't prove it and that's how abilities should function now if you don't know how to check abilities you're going to want to go to view roster a lot of people have been asking how to find this so i just want to make sure i take this one step at a time view roster you can click on any player and you can click y on them will johnson's a bad example here only because he has so many so it's going to be harder for me to show the upgrading aspect of it but if you go to mentals here, mentals are the first form of ability. So mentals, they're non-tangible abilities. So when you look at them, fan favorite, increased composure gains at home. So composure is basically how, how well a quarterback stays composed. They don't get riled up when bad things happen, momentum plays. You can see this pretty easily when uh, your quarterback throws a pick and suddenly you start getting super accurate and riled up and their balls aren't like not a tight spiral. You can very quickly see this problem start to happen. Legion, composure gain for all DBs and increase composure late in close games. Now, a lot of these mental abilities are very useful. My favorite ones are the road abilities. So that's just kind of how this works. So on, you know, on the road, a lot of quarterbacks are very riled up. They can't change their hot routes. They're missing They're missing easy wide receivers. They're overthrowing balls. That's where mentals come into play. It kind of helps with the aspect of the mental side of the ball. Uh, for players outside of quarterback, they're still really good, but I prefer, when it, I prefer quarterbacks to have more mental abilities. Of course, O-line's good so they don't get instantly shedded. D-line so they can stay hot even in road games. But quarterbacks, where I find that to be really, really, really noticeable because when a quarterback's riled without mental abilities, it, it can just be a downhill game very fast. Now, physicals are the ones that directly impact the game in terms of like what they do, their actions, right? So blanket coverage, improved man coverage, jammer, improved press technique. And by the way, all these abilities outside of the real players, like Will Johnson being a real life player that was generated by, like not generated by EA, they got handed and handpicked specific abilities. When you do recruits, all the recruits are basically handed abilities based on their archetypes. So there is some differentiation here with looking at a current player versus a generated player. So now let's start talking about how you upgrade them. So a lot of people have been asking how to upgrade them. So when you go to ratings, right, you see how there's skill points next to each one, but you can't manually upgrade it. So a lot of people have been asking me, like, why is there skill points? Why can't I do it? So I believe what EA is trying to show you here is that you that these skill points, like the man coverage would cost seven skill points to upgrade but your player automatically handles this aspect of it. So for instance, you'd have to accrue seven skill points up in the top right corner, all the way up there. And then you have to fill the bar below his name, right below the 97, and you accrue skill points. When you accrue a certain amount of skill points, the player can't automatically spend them. When do they spend them? It seems to be very random. Uh, I like to believe that, you know, let the season go by after you sim the whole season or play through the whole season, eventually they just run through their skill points. I'm not entirely sure the formula of when they use them. I've seen people say they have them for a while. Some people say they use them. But basically when it comes to abilities, and I'm going to go over to somewhere else to show you this even more in depth, but I believe that when you're upgrading abilities, the player actually does it themselves and they use their skill points. And the reason I'm going through this is a lot of people have commented saying abilities are broken. My player has 93 spin move and he still has bronze spin cycle. He only needed an 85 to get it to silver. Why are abilities broken? Other people are saying their abilities are upgrading. So what I believe to be true is that skill points are actually what they use to upgrade their abilities. Now it doesn't say it, right? So a lot of people are like, well, it says it for ratings, but it doesn't say it for abilities. I believe it's the same exact system for abilities. And I believe it's meant to be more sim style, more realistic, kind of like real life. Like you can coach a player, but they're going to become who they become, right? 
So you can't just sit here and make a meta player every time. For instance, you can't go to ratings and go to man coverage max and make sure that their speed is max and get a 99 speed, 99 man coverage corner every time with blanket coverage. Rather, he may develop a zone ability and then may develop man coverage and it is what it is, right? It's not gonna be the perfect player every time and it adds some variance. So to understand how much these abilities cost and kind of go through what it costs to upgrade things, there is a place you're gonna to wanna to go over to. You're gonna to wanna to come over to Road to Glory. You could start one up, you can continue your current one, and you're gonna to wanna to look from here. I, I don't know if this was intentional or unintentional in EA's part. I find it weird that they wouldn't add this if this is pretty basically how it, how it works. But if you go to Road to Glory and you go to Upgrade Player on literally any position, if you wanna see position specific, obviously make that position. And if you go to rating, same concept, except you actually can hold A to purchase on these as you see in the bottom left corner. And then if you go to mentals, mentals are based on GPA. So in here, here's the here's the first differentiation. In Dynasty, mentals can't be upgraded. So in Road to Glory, they can. In Dynasty, they cannot. So this is very important when recruiting, understanding that your mental abilities are what you have. So if you're recruiting a five-star quarterback and one has like Road Dog or something really good for being on the road or headstrong, and they have it at platinum and another quarterback either doesn't have it or has it at bronze that's a huge difference because those don't upgrade now physicals can be upgraded look right here as you can see you see this requirement magician requires 85 speed this player only has 83 so in dynasty you wouldn't expect that's upgrade yet but then the season goes by your player upgrades and suddenly your quarterback has an 88 speed or an 86 speed or an 85 throw on the run and now you're commenting or telling me right why hasn't this upgraded if you look on the right there actually are skill points attributed right to or attributed i should say to these skills and to these abilities so this is three right here hold the purchase obviously in dynasty you can't like i told you because they're trying to make it so where you can't build your player or every player a certain way you can't build every player the same exact way the meta way the best most glitchy way but you can see there are skill points attached so I'd imagine it's the same system for Dynasty. And that's what I believe to be true because it's pretty evident when you're getting the, you're getting the skills and they're not being upgraded. And furthermore, there's been about two patches so far in this game or two or three, one big one, some smaller ones. It's I find it super hard to believe that they haven't added the skill point aspect or they haven't fixed the abilities not upgrading or they haven't addressed the fact like we're tracking the fact that abilities aren't upgrading. It's clearly not a glitch. It's clearly not an issue. It's very clear that they're upgrading them. So for instance, when I tell you guys how important development trade is, and this is what some people aren't understanding, like, oh, you know, they're like normal versus elite. That doesn't matter. The players upgrade on their own. Watch my development video. They're all very different things. Development is how quickly you gain XP. Your coaching packages is how quickly you can be, you can upgrade the player through off season training and off, off season upgrading. And there's some variance to that. Now, why is dev trade important? When you have elite or star dev trait, you accrue XP faster. So when you play with the player and you have a Heisman season, you have a player of the year season, you have player of the weeks, or you accrue skill points in the corner, as you see with the four, that player uses these to both upgrade himself and his abilities. So the easiest way to upgrade your abilities, quite honestly, is accruing skill points and hoping they use them. Now, I've seen plenty of cases where my player goes up in overall, but they don't touch their abilities. I've seen that there could be a case where they upgrade all their abilities and not their overall. And that's something to track. I've seen a lot of people say, I won the Heisman. I had a great season. His overall only went up by two in the offseason. Two different things. He had the random variance of plus two overalls, but if you check closer, you may see that his physicals went from Magician to Platinum. From Silver Magician to Platinum. You may see that Option King went up to Gold and Extender went up to Gold. Or you may see some abilities that were blanked out before finally reach Bronze. So it's possible you could have gained 15 skill points and the player used all 15 on abilities. And keep in mind, this is just a generic this is just generic player right here right this is all like not even accrued this is all bronze requires is three silver might be five gold might be seven platinum might be 12. so keep that in mind too is you may only accrue 20 skill points in a season or you may only accrue 15 skill points or 12 or 10. let's say you only accrue 10 skill points in the heisman season because they've spent it on abilities right oh uh, sorry spent it on xp on their ratings let's say you do get to a point where you end the season with 10 skill points and you're like why didn't he upgrade his ability he has 10 skill points sitting there it's possible platinum just costs more and they need more than that so they actually may just end up throwing it at, at regular ratings which may make it harder for them to ever upgrade platinum abilities there's a lot of variance to this but do understand that is an important part of developing players is actually using them and accruing xp because i believe that's how you get your abilities and i think this will hopefully solve a lot of issues for a lot of people a lot of people have been complaining about it they don't understand the ability system and again to tie it all in mentals do not upgrade they did add a way to do it in road to glory obviously gpa and all this stuff 10,000 followers all that stuff does not apply to dynasty so the mentals are what they are the physicals can be upgraded again physicals are great so that's super important but just keep in mind how that works 
make sure you watch my development video so you can figure out how to actually accrue XP and how to do it the right way and make sure you're doing it. So for instance, if you have a normal dev player, they're going to accrue XP so slowly. So that normal dev player could potentially get higher in overall with good skill caps. And people have said that too, like, hey, I have an elite player and a normal dev. The normal dev outgrew the elite dev. This makes no sense. The normal dev can upgrade higher in the off season and maybe get, may, maybe get a higher overall, but you'll notice their abilities aren't changing. You'll notice a lot of other things. They're not occurring skill points because these normal dev players, while they can grow an overall from off season training packages, without the skill points, they won't upgrade their abilities. So you may end up with a very, no, a very normal player. Like they can get good, but they're not gonna get their crazy abilities. An elite dev player may only jump up a few overalls and maybe a little bit lower at first, but you'll notice their abilities could be quickly changing and other things because they need those skill points to do it. So make sure you are, you are utilizing skill points. Do not, I feel like a lot of people have been so stuck up on the off season development side of everything that they're forgetting why elite dev is important. They're forgetting why they need to be focusing on other aspects of this game. So make sure you are following that. If you have anything to add to this, any other advice, any other things you've picked up from Reddit, Discord, and other places where it's like, oh, and also this, or by the way, this, or you can kind of change this up, make sure to comment down below. Helps everyone out when you guys do comment stuff like that. And of course, I do plan on making a video going through the best abilities and what I like to have on my players and kind of breaking down abilities a little bit more. If you have anything to add here, make sure to do that. And one last thing, of course, make sure you guys do go all through all the abilities on your team because you will notice a few things when you go to physicals in dynasty mode, you will see some of these grayed out. When you're recruiting a player, you may only see like two physical abilities, but when you actually recruit them, you'll notice they just had two unlocked already and they had another three or so just not unlocked. So keep that in mind too. People have been asking me when recruiting players are the abilities you see final. The mental ones are. The whatever mental you see on a player when recruiting them, that's what they will have for the rest of their career. The physicals are just showing you what you have when you get them and what you can upgrade to. Now, here's another aspect of this that's kind of important to me. The skill point upgrading is random. You do not control it. There's variance to that. It could take three seasons for them to finally upgrade their stuff. So with that being said, when recruiting a quarterback, you may see one quarterback on one hand that's a five-star that looks great stat wise. And another quarterback that's a five star and looks slightly worse stat wise. The quarterback with the slightly worse stats starts off with five physical abilities, two platinums, one gold and two bronze. The quarterback with the better speed and throw power that looks like it has a higher ceiling starts off with one bronze physical ability. Now at first rip, you're like, oh, well the, the other quarterback has way better stats, I'll take him. The caveat to that is that freshman quarterback starts with five great abilities off rip and you don't have to depend on the randomness right you don't have to depend on the ea algorithm to upgrade it for you in my personal opinion i'm taking the abilities all day and just hoping i can get skill points to upgrade their overall and also that also lets them put skill points elsewhere when you have a quarterback that has good stats but gonna start at like a 77 overall and no abilities it has to keep constantly fighting on where to allocate those abilities and where they're going to place them and how they're going to upgrade that player is going to take forever and it's not going to be the easiest build a player that comes stacked out with abilities all of his points are going to go to overall that's a player with a much higher ceiling so make sure you do take that into account when also upgrading players but that's about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy if you're new to the channel as always subscribe let's get to 30k we're awfully close to 26k but let's keep going we've been growing pretty fast i really appreciate all the support give us a big thumbs up can i know i asked for 500 in the beginning can we get a thousand i feel like we have the potential for a thousand in this video if you've watched this long make sure to give it an extra like if you can and of course, comment down below if you have anything to add. Comments are super important. It helps out the channel and it also helps out the subs and it helps out me to learn more as always. If you haven't already, make sure to join the Underdog Fantasy Draft. If you want to play against me in fantasy football this season, it will be NFL. Hopefully I can do some college ones at some point, but in the meantime, we'll be doing some NFL ones. So make sure to join down below. If you have any problems with that, hit me up on Twitter and I'll get you added. And of course, follow me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.